Hi, I'm Hao. Today, I am going to present our paper, called Wavelet Diffusion Models Are Fast and Scalable Image Generator. This work is done by me, Quan Dao and Antron, from Vinay Research. Here is the overview of WaveDiff, a novel approach to speed up sampling process of diffusion models. Unlike conventional diffusion models, we shift the process from pixel space to wavelet space which employs the low and high frequency information to accelerate sampling speed. Empirically, our method is 2.5 times faster than DDGON, the fastest up-to-date diffusion method, and approaches the real-time speed of style GON counterparts while still achieving comparable FID scores. To showcase the efficacy of our approach, we evaluated the time required for sampling a single image on various datasets. According to the table, our method can produce images up to 1024 by 1024 in a mere 0.1 second with just 2 to 4 steps, a near real time performance for a diffusion model, which is pretty impressive. Before going to details, we first have a quick look on diffusion models and their remaining challenges. Diffusion models are based on Markov chains, which includes a diffusion process to gradually distort data with Gaussian noise and a denoising process to sample the data from pure noise. Though diffusion models offer favorable performance on several tasks, it still suffers from low sampling process, which requires 100 to 1,000 steps. As such, some works have been proposed to fasten the sampling process. DDIM, the first attempt, reduces inference steps to several, via breaking the Markov chain process. However, during training, the model still relied on the 1,000-step Markov. Alternatively, distillation compresses a pre-trained model with many timesteps into a model with fewer timesteps. However, it requires a pre-trained teacher, which is expensive to acquire. DDGON, a recent method, employs multimodal GON to greatly reduce the number of steps to just a few, example a 2, 4. Still, its sampling speed lags behind its GON counterparts. Existing works fail to address sampling speed adequately in both training and testing. To overcome this problem, we utilize wavelet transformation to improve the sampling efficiency and overall performance of DDGON. Moving to our proposal, let's begin by introducing a wavelet diffusion scheme that integrates the wavelet transform into the diffusion process for more efficient sampling. Instead of synthesizing the image as a whole, our diffusion model learns to generate a stack of its four wavelet subbands. After T sampling steps, the output image is reconstructed via inverse wavelet transformation. Performing denoising on wavelet space has two key advantages. First, its spatial dimension is four times smaller than the original image dimension. Second, the model can benefit from the disentangled representation of wavelet subbands. Next, we describe our training objective. The model first receives input noisy sample yt and outputs unperturbed sample y0 given random sample latent z and current step t. The less noisy sample yt-1 is then drawn from posterior distribution q, given noisy sample yt and the output y0. Apart from the original adversarial loss of dd gone, we further introduce a reconstruction loss to alleviate the loss of frequency information. Therefore, generator loss is the combination of these terms where lambda emphasizes the penalty of reconstruction loss. Turning to network design, we further incorporate wavelet information at multiscales into feature space through the generator to strengthen the awareness of high-frequency components. The inputs are noisy wavelet subbands, which are processed by a sequence of our proposed components, including wavelet downsample layers, frequency aware upsampling and downsampling blocks, and frequency bottleneck blocks. The outputs of the model are the approximation of unperturbed inputs. Next, I will introduce each proposed module. The first proposed module is the wavelet downsample layer. It serves as a residual connection to inject input signals to different feature pyramids of the UNET encoder. Specifically, the input signals are first mapped to corresponding feature dimensions, then added to each feature pyramid. Our next proposal is the frequency aware downsampling and upsampling blocks. Instead of using conventional operations to resize feature dimensions, we utilize inherent properties of the wavelet transform for better upsampling and downsampling. Particularly, the downsampling block receives a tuple of input features fi, a latent z, and time embedding t, which are then processed through sequential layers to return downsampled features and high frequency subbands. These return subbands are used for upsampling features based on frequency cues in the upsampling block. 
Finally, we introduce a frequency bottleneck block to aid the learning of intermediate features of low-frequency subbands. It also helps preserve the high-frequency details. Specifically, the input features are first divided into low and high subbands, where only low subbands are processed by ResBlock. The processed features and the original high-frequency subbands are transformed back to the original space via inverse wavelet transform. Next, results on SAFAR 10 are first presented. Our sampling time requires only 0.08 seconds which is 2.5 times faster than dd gone while achieving comparable FID scores with other diffusion models. This gives us real-time performance with style gone counterparts. Generated samples are shown in the right. Next, we conduct experiments on the STL-10 dataset, which has a higher resolution than SAFAR-10. As shown, our method exceeds dd gone in both FID score and inference time. Additionally, ours offers a faster convergence than the baseline, especially in the first 400 epochs. Particularly, dd gone falls short in recovering the shape and structure of objects, whereas our method produces faster recovery. Our qualitative images are shown in the right. We move to test our method on Celebe, a popular facial image benchmark. Overall, our method significantly outperforms the baseline and other existing methods by a substantial margin. Additionally, our approach provides a two times faster inference time compared to DD Gone for both 256 and 512 resolution settings. On 1024 resolution, our method also yields an FID score of 5.98 while offering a similar inference time as Celebe HQ512. For qualitative comparison, on Celebe 512, our method produces clearer details such as eyebrows and wrinkles. Finally, we conduct an experiment on the challenging Sun Church dataset. Once again, our model not only offers two times faster inference time but also attains a better FID score compared with DD Gone while exceeding Style Gone 2 in terms of sample diversity at 0.4. Next, we examine the effect of each proposed network component. As can be seen, the FID score will increase when removing any component. By integrating all proposed modules, our method gives the best FID score of 5.94 while inducing only a marginal computing overhead. In a nutshell, we present a novel wavelet-based diffusion scheme for efficient sampling. By using wavelet transformation, our method effectively reduces the speed gap with style gone models while delivering competitive benchmarking. Compared to DD gone, our method also offers faster training convergence. It can serve as a stepping stone to facilitate future studies on real-time and high-fidelity diffusion models. Thank you. You can scan the QR code for more details or contact me via the provided email for further discussion.